Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. I hope you are enjoying this particular Tikimba series, whatever we have covered so far. So from today onwards, guys, that I'm going to start a new series with respect to Tikimba only. We will be designing a complete end-to-end -end framework and a complete hybrid framework with the help of Cucumber Selenium libraries. We will be using that. And we will be designing with the help of page object model design pattern, the POM design pattern, we will be using it. And we will be doing a lot of new stuff, a lot of good things, reporting part and everything. So today is all about as that is my favorite part, always that first we have to cover the design, what exactly we are going to develop. And this is what exactly you have to explain at a time of interview. And if you are following step by step all the components and everything, you have to be very careful and certain uh, rules, uh, single responsibility principle. We have to use uh, all the proper concept of feature file, a definition file, libraries, utilities, patterns, everything we have to use it over there. So if you are not sure about how exactly Gekimer works, please watch all these uh, 13 videos that I've already prepared. Mm -hmm which are absolutely available on my uh, channel, absolutely free. And please go there and check it. Very simple, very easy tool. What the concept is slightly different as compared to a typical test NG and J unit process. So here we have to involve our feature file and the step definition file as well. Whenever we are talking about BD with Cucumber. So first layer guys that we have to define our uh, feature files layer. So that is my for every page we will pick any web application and then for every page uh, we will be defining certain uh, feature files over here so these will be my uh, feature files this is always a good practice that we should create feature wise feature files according to the different pages let's see that is the uh, <clears throat> uh, that is the thing that i'll be following in this particular framework so let's see the first feature of file i quickly write over here let's see for uh, login dot feature that i'm going to write so login page related feature or test cases or scenarios I'll be writing over here and every feature will be having certain uh, scenarios over here. So we have already seen that let's see scenario number one. Then we have scenario number two like that and every scenario will be having different uh, steps with the help of a given when then Gherkin keywords we will be writing over here like that. Right simple uh, given and then when like that so same thing for scenario two and everything we will be writing it and every scenario or could be a specific scenario could be having uh, some data table concept and the examples concept also so that also we will be doing that so let me quickly write for the reference that okay we could be using a data table concept as well as examples for the data driven point of view we can use that same thing let's see for the next uh, feature file i'm going to create for home dot feature so I'll be writing for the home page related scenarios. I'll be writing in this particular feature file. Then I'll be using, let's say, some other, let's say, registration page. I'll be using something like this. Whatever we can use any page and registration dot a feature. We will be uh, using it over here. So let's say this is my registration dot feature. Then it could be any other, let's say, for uh, uh, product, all the features scenarios we will be writing over there. So this is my first layer. So I would give a name that is uh, layer number one. That is my feature layer, right? So I quickly write it for your reference and you can take the screenshot and take a print of this and then you can write that is my feature layer. Take the print out of this and then exactly you can practice and we will follow the same pattern over there. So once the feature layer is done, the second thing we always know that, okay, we have to create the mapping step definition file. So the second layer I'll be creating, this is my step definition file over here. So this is the second layer. And for every step definition, uh, a corresponding Java class I'll be writing. So let's see, this is my uh, login steps definition dot Java, home steps dot Java, registration steps dot Java, and let's see product steps dot Java. Some people uh, they prefer that okay, one or two step definition or uh, a scenario wise step definition they write, but that's okay. But I prefer that okay, with this way for every feature we will create a separate individual uh, step definition file like a login step definition or home page step definition so that the maintenance will be easy for you guys. So this will be a second layer. I would say this is my uh, steps layer or a step definition layer. So let me write a step definition and then some classes like I would say that, okay, these are my login uh, steps dot Java class we will be writing and what exactly you are going to write here. We will be writing all our at the rate given at the rate when all the mapping methods, the step definition methods we will be writing over here. So whatever the at the rate annotations, like we have at the rate uh, given 
right like this and then we had the red given when then and all these operators uh, all these annotations we will be writing over here same thing for the second guy let's see for this is for uh, my uh, home page or let's see yeah home page steps i'll be writing dot java and let's see the third one is a registration one so i quickly write let's see registration uh, step dot java like that right so you can change them uh, they will use the proper name over there this is just for the diagram and same thing for let's see like this now one thing you need to understand that uh, every step definition obviously right will be having some a uh, precondition every scenario will be having some precondition that okay let's see for execute the login related test cases i have to launch the browser and all those things same thing for home step also we have uh, we have to log in and then we have to launch the browser enter the url delete the cookies and after that we have to close the browser so these are the common uh, preconditions and common opposed uh, steps are available so we will be maintaining that that is one more layer that is called hooks layer so we will be creating one hook layer over here so just like we do it in a typical test engine and typical uh, uh, tdd approach where we use um, a base test over there and then we define add the rate before method or add the rate uh, after method like that same thing we will be refining our hooks so we have already covered hooks if you remember so this will be my third layer actually that is i would say uh, my application hooks i'll be defining in your application hooks all the preconditions pre annotations i'll be writing let's see my add the rate before add the rate after like that and multiple add the rate before i can write in the form of order so let's see this is order equal to zero like this order equal to one so i'll be writing order zero i'll simply writing in, in the same line over here like this and same thing at the rate after also i'll be writing it so quickly let me write at the rate after with the same respective order so i'll show you how to maintain the different order over here right so this is my app hooks it means before every scenario before every scenario all these uh, hooks will be executed after that so this will be my app hooks dot java class that we have to create so this is not a normal feature file or something like this it's a typical java class that we have to create over here so this is a dot java so this is my third layer fourth layer is that guys we have to create our page objects we have to create the page layer because we are following page object model so what we have to do we have to create a separate page layer over here so different pages let's say this is for a login page dot java this is for a home page dot java this is for registration page dot java and let's say this is the product information page dot java something like this whatever the number of pages that you have we will be writing so this is my fourth layer i would say this is my page layer and in this particular page layer let's say this is my i quickly give a name let's say i'm giving login page dot java generally we follow the same pattern right for every page for the corresponding page we should have a separate page class according to the page object model right so if you have 50 pages we should write a 50 page classes over here according to the page object model so we will be following the same pattern and then these login page or these pages what exactly we will be writing we will be defining the data members the page members class members over here first i'll be writing my private by locators for that particular page and then i'll be writing a constructor over here which will take the driver which will use to initialize the driver and then not initialize the driver whatever the class driver we will pass the same driver to the class driver over here so i'll show you okay when we write the code so we will be writing one constructor so this is my constructor i can write it over here like this and then the third thing we will be writing my public layer public page actions public page methods i'll be writing over here and these page methods we they will be using these a private by locators that we have created right so typical encapsulation concept we will be using it the private uh, data members or private uh, variables can be accessed by the public page actions over there page action means let's see a do login method uh, check for what password is there not page title method like that so which is defining the behavior of that specific page only so we will be writing certain methods over here same thing for home page also we will be writing uh, different things we will be writing our uh, by locators and then we will be uh, writing our uh, public page methods we will be writing over here and the by locators will always be in private okay remember this thing so we will be following the same pattern over here like that there are no changes in the approach so this is let's see my second class i'll be writing let's see home page dot java over here 
and this is my registration page dot java now you must be thinking that okay why i'm creating a separate page layer we can maintain these uh, by locators in my um, login step dot java no because you guys we are following the page object model with the srp concept single responsibility concept page layer should be independent your page class should be independent having specific locator and specific page actions and login steps that you are writing that is that should be mapped with your feature steps over here that you have written in a specific scenario you should not mix them together otherwise you cannot create a generic approach or the maintenance also will be very much high in that case so let's segregate that particular uh, layer now whenever you are calling this particular method let's say at the rate given uh, user logs in and then user enter username password something like this we will be writing in the feature file and the same method is written over there so every feature file first of all is mapped with this steps over here whatever the steps that we have written over here like that right now could be possible let's see in home page dot feature we have written a step that okay user is on user logs in same thing user logs in we have written the same step over here so we don't need to create duplicate step definition for that because otherwise a cucumber will give you that okay duplicate step definition found so the same home dot feature can interact with whatever the step definition maintained over here for the login so to reach at the home page step dot java we can call the step definition from the login step dot java also so cucumber will automatically pick it from here we just need to write the feature step over here for that particular step the mapping is already done over here so that's why let's see this is the step over here and the mapping is mapped over here like that could be possible so we have one to one mapping but in different okay but in a different class also it is possible we don't need to write for single step and multiple step definitions we don't need to write cucumber will not accept that right so same thing when i call a specific method let's say user clicks on login button user enters username so that method i'll be writing in my page layer over here so that's why the integration between uh, these two guys also will be there same thing let's see home page first will log in and then home page will call all the page uh, actions or page method from the login page class same thing for registration we'll be calling registration page dot java i want to check a couple of things on the product after login so first i'll go to my login then i'll go to my uh, home page methods over here and then i'll be going to have a product page and i'll be checking a couple of things i'll be calling page actions from the product page over here like that okay so that will be the integration we will be doing that to maintain to create a typical test scenario and the use case over here like that so this will be my fourth layer fifth layer i'm going to create that is the element util class that is okay the utility section i'll be writing so in utility i'll be creating my own wrapper i'll be creating my own generic functions to handle these page okay whatever the page actions that let's see dot click dot send keys get text get title some weight utilities we will be writing over there so we will be creating one element util dot java so okay i'll be writing let's see this is my element util dot java class we will be using that and then certain methods we will be writing my own custom wrapper methods i'll be writing let's see for do click method internally we will be doing what internally we will be creating driver dot find element by dot click only but we will create our on top custom functions on top of that so we don't need to write driver dot find element again and again and then we can use the reusability functions also like that so let's see for example do send keys method i'll be writing it for example let's see i want to create a get element at the runtime and i'll be giving the a by locator over here like this that also i can do that so a lot of functions we will be creating some weight uh, methods we will be writing it on the basis of explicitly weight and uh, presence of element and different weight conditions are available fluent weight everything we will be writing over there so we will prepare this element util and then these element util will be used by these page methods so there is a integration between connection between all the page methods will be calling the corresponding element util dot java so we need element util dot java class object and we will call these methods we will pass the by locator the by locator which are already defined over here we will just send these by locator to these methods and they will perform the action on it so it will be a very transparent that okay yeah we are we have to follow the design pattern properly so, right srp uh, principle we have to follow single responsibility principle that says that every class should have their own responsibility we should not mix multiple responsibility 
within the same class and we should have at least only one reason to change the class right it's not like that okay within the same class you are writing thousand lines of code no we have to create different different components independent component we have to create and they are integrating and communicating with each other so this is my element util.java that i'll be creating that after that certain utilities i'll be writing that how will you initialize your driver so I, we will be maintaining one <coughs> driver dot factory class so this will behave like a factory for me and this i'll be writing let's say this is my driver dot factory this will be my sixth component i'll be writing i would say driver factory dot java class and here we will be writing that okay hey i want to initialize my driver on the basis of what on the basis of that particular browser that i'm giving to you let's see chrome or firefox or whatever so we will be writing initialized driver and we will be initializing the driver with the help of thread local so we will be seeing the concept of thread local as well and here we will be using two methods set and get method from the thread local class so we will be using one get driver method whenever someone is calling this particular get driver method and it will return what it will return the driver with thread local so i'll show you this concept very interesting very easy to implement and very powerful concept implemented in java jdk 8 and we will be using thread local concept also so this is my driver factory and this driver factory method will be called from where from before hook method that we have written inside my hooks over here so there is an integration between this guy and this guy right because driver factory class initialize a driver so this browser will be sent from here and where exactly this browser you will be maintaining so for that we have to create a small component that is called i will create a seven component over here that is my config dot properties i'll be maintaining over here so i will say that okay yeah this is my seventh component that is let's see config dot properties and where i'll be maintaining something some environment variable let's see on which browser you want to run okay i want to run a chrome browser url or anything you want to maintain you can maintain over here right so this config dot properties we have to read the property so we have to create a one more small component for that i should not mix the same concept in my driver factory or in some other class because everybody is having their own responsibility for that so i have to create another small component let's see i'll be creating somewhere over here that is my uh, eighth component i would say and that is a simple class i'll be writing that is my config reader class i'll be writing so this is my config reader dot java and in this particular class i'll be creating a method initialize the property and i'll simply say that okay yeah this is a path of the properties file and then this will return what this guy will return the prop class object it means properties class object it will return the property over here so config reader.java is actually interacting with whom interacting with this particular i mean this particular file and uh, this particular config reader.java initialized property will be called by this guy okay inside the before method so first it will call your config reader.java which will give you the properties and i'll be using property.get method get property method which property browser property and the same property will be given to initialize driver method so first we will be uh, calling initialize property and then we will be calling initialize driver from the driver factory so these two integration also we have to do that very very important concept we will be following over here remember this thing guys after so these are the eight components we have created after that we have to do what we have to create um, certain other one more thing that is we have to create the runner file right so from where you have to execute your test cases so we will be creating some runner file over here so let's see i'll be giving some name or i'll be writing somewhere over here that okay like this that is my uh, ninth component i'll be creating so let me create a ninth component over here that is uh, my uh, test runner like this and inside this my test runner dot java this will be my j unit class actually so this is my a j unit java class and here i'll be using what here i'll be using my different uh, cucumber options what type of options like okay where exactly your feature file where exactly your step definition file or other plugins information i'll be writing over here that we have already seen that so my test runner will actually go to the a feature layer and track over here and then it will be uh, running all these uh, feature file with the help of a uh, cucumber with the help of cucumber options right so we will be giving the step definition and in the glue we will be writing the feature file file path over here so just for your uh, knowledge i'll simply write that we have to give the feature file path feature file path and we have to give 
the step path also a step definition path also we have to give that okay i'm not writing a line otherwise it will disturb the diagram so this is my ninth component that i have created after that we have to maintain certain resources guys certain resources we will be maintaining under src test resources component we will be using it so let me just quickly write it once again that is my i would say the 10th component and uh, here i'll be writing a couple of things so first of all that is the 10th component under src test actually these are my i would say resources and which will be created under src test resources source folder we will be creating and having multiple things over here first of all that i'll be maintaining my config dot properties that we have already created but under that particular i will simply write config dot properties i'll be maintaining some other properties like uh, um cucumber properties also we will be using it okay for the let's see for publishing the report and everything on their portal so cucumber dot properties we will be using that and then we will be adding one more property for extend report that is called extend dot properties we will be using that and then we have one xml file we will be adding that is called extend hyphen config dot dot xml file we will be using that so this is under src test resources so these are my resources i'll be using and guys uh, for the reporting point of view these uh, uh, configuration will be very helpful so this is the 10th component we will be using that and feature file will be created under src test resources step definition will be created under your src test java and uh, page layer will be created okay once again under your src main java utility will be created under src main java so package structure and folder structure i'll be telling you in the next session right so this is my 10th component that we have uh, created after that what will be your reporting different types of report we will be creating right so i'll be writing let's see it's not a component but it will be created so what exactly we are going to use for the reporting point of view for the reporting we will be using uh, multiple reports so i would simply write okay what are different reports a typical report that we will be using that is uh, your pretty report pretty output you can do that right that I already seen that multiple times then you can create your json report you can create your xml uh, simple report then we will be using uh, cucumber 6 ui report the web report also we can see that that we have already seen okay when we were uh, talking about uh, cucumber features that time also we have seen that and then we will be using uh, extent report but in extend report guys we will be using one spark report and spark report with respect to html file will be generating and then we will be generating one spark pdf report also we will be using that if you really want to use a typical extend html report the 5.x doesn't support so here because we have to use extend report 5.x version the latest uh, extend report is available in the market so that doesn't the the cucumber doesn't support that particular extension report so far so right we have to create a separate adapter for that so that adapter is available but that adapter is called actually uh the adapter name i'll tell you we have to use one adapter uh that is extend report cucumber 6 adapter we have to use that so i'll uh, quickly write it over here which will actually help me to generate the report so i simply write this is um, extend report cucumber 6 adapter so the problem with this adapter not exactly the problem it is supporting html file with spark not with extend report html okay because it's supporting with uh, extend report if you're using extend report 5.x adapter you can use only spark reports spark html and spark pdf report along with the screenshot and everything you can use that but if you really want to use a typical extend report.html you have to use extend report 4.x okay so that also i'll tell you if you want but better we use 5.x and spark html report also i'll show you so it will look like this guys see this this is extend report you can see that and all these is our test cases are available this is my spark html report not the exact extend report here you can see the graph over here this is the kind of thing that okay how many features are there one feature got failed one feature got passed and then four scenarios got passed so scenario wise report you can see that 19 steps got step wise also report you can see that your environment variable timeline everything will be uh, visible over here like that you can go to the bug section and you just open this and you will see that okay screenshot is also attached over here like that 
okay and you can see that okay yeah login page title got passed but forgot password link is not available something like this and you will get this entire exception details and then all the steps over here you can see that working fine with the login with correct credential this particular okay this particular scenario got passed so this is a typical spark html report we will be creating that and then we have another pdf report that we'll be creating pdf report is amazingly good you can see that a number of pie charts graphs okay we will be creating and then it's amazingly looking good see accounts page feature account page title for each and every scenario it will tell you okay what exactly you want for each and every step also it will tell you okay this graph and everything so this is the kind of report we will be generating what are the different hooks that you are using it and then what exactly got failed see this uh, the pass forgot password should link uh, link should be displayed it got failed no such element exception like that it got failed over here duration and everything we will be uh, getting it and the next scenario is that see f means a feature s means scenario login with correct credentials and everything and then these are the steps involved along with the hook you can see that user is on the login page and then uh, this is this data is actually coming from the data table and corresponding pass pass fail and everything coming over here so these kind of reports we will be generating you don't worry about that i have already uh, <clears throat> experimented and then generated so reporting part will be very very interesting a lot of people they struggle with cucumber reporting part but we will make it in a very systematic way very easy way so this is the reporting part once the reporting part is uh, done so what we have to do guys this entire project whatever that we have created the or we are going to create actually this is a design part and this entire design is based out of based out of maven project so we will be maintaining the maven project over here so this is complete maven project guys we will be following so i would say i'll write and inside the maven project we know that we have uh, first of all this is the maven project we will be maintaining our pom.xml file and this particular pom.xml file we will be maintaining different uh, dependencies so different dependencies like we will be using web driver over here we will be using web driver manager we will be using a cucumber 6 apis cucumber uh, 6.9 library that we will be using we will be using a junit 4.x version and then uh, we will be use we will be using one uh, as i told you this adapter also we will be using that cucumber or uh, extend report adapter and certain other libraries also whenever it's required we will be doing that and then we will be having different plugins okay and the plugins um like a typical plugin like compiler plugin then we will be having this short file plugin to run my test cases so this is the short file plugin and then we will be having one more important plugin for the parallel execution that is called fail safe plugin I don't know you guys have heard about it or not fail safe a plugin we will be using it for the parallel okay execution guys i'll write it for you okay so this is something very interesting i'm pretty much sure that uh, okay like that so uh, cucumber by default does not support any parallel execution we have to use a maven plugin we can use that and i've already experimented with cucumber 6 absolutely working fine here and there's some basic configuration we have to do and we have to tell that okay yeah a parallel execution with how many threads remember one thing with this particular approach we can execute only the feature files so all the, let's see if you have five feature files those feature files will be executed in a parallel mode so let's see if you're generating four threads one thread will pick this particular feature file second thread will pick home dot feature third thread will pick registration dot feature like that I cannot execute multiple scenarios in parallel all right so on the same browser login dot feature will be executed let's see on google chrome or firefox or whatever and then on the same browser all the scenarios will be executed so tomorrow let's say if you have 10 different features all these 10 browsers will be running in the parallel mode and every browser is taking care of a respective feature file over there so feature file i can do in the parallel mode but not the scenarios with this approach so we will be doing this stuff over here so this is all about the design part these are the different uh, 10 11 components we will be writing it so let me write yeah this is the 11 component actually this reporting part is also we are not designing it but automatically these are the configuration we have to do that so this is my 11th component act and this will be my 12th component which is the um form.xml file is my 12th component and they are talking to each other 
right? And this inside this pomod XML file, inside this particular uh, fail-safe plugin, what we have to we have to give this particular my test runner file path over here. Okay, so I'll be writing a link between these two guys. Okay, because uh, all the feature file details, path, and everything written over here. Okay, so that's why we have to maintain one integration between these two components, component number nine and twelve over here. And after that, once all these things are done, this is my designing part. Okay, so I'll be quickly writing that. Okay, yeah, this is for designing what exactly you're designing. So I'm designing. This is my. Uh, I'm using actually one hybrid approach, hybrid uh, framework with my uh, uh, BDD. Plus we are using JUnit. Plus we are using um, a reporting part. Plus we are using different libraries and the utilities that we are writing it. Also we are uh, using the concept of uh, parallel execution, right? Along with the page object model design pattern we are using it so this is my actually a pattern over here so i'll just write it for that if some you are explaining to someone you can easily learn it so this is my pattern actually not a framework page object model is a design pattern not a framework and overall i can say that okay yeah this is my hybrid a uh, framework we will be doing that now once the design is uh, done whenever i'm launching my browser browser is getting launched in my local we can use the concept of a remote web driver also over here what exactly we will be doing is that is we will be maintaining one selenium grid over here with the help of maybe a docker a composer or maybe on uh, selenium or selenoid any a dockerized a grid we can maintain over here so <clears throat> i simply write this is my uh, dockerized and here what exactly the grid is uh, working over here so i'll be creating multiple images let's see this is my hub image this is my uh, Firefox and the Chrome image and I'll be creating multiple containers on top of that So this is my first comp container for grid and let's see for uh, I'm using let's see five containers for uh, Chrome like that I'll be using it. So so these are my different uh, containers I'll be okay, and I can spin up and spin down the infrastructure containers and everything With the help of docker quickly. I'll be running my test cases on the dockerized grid also So I won't exactly completely teach you what is docker and everything that is you can refer my separate videos, but we will set up the dockerized grid and in this particular dockerized grid we are having our own uh, Docker IP address whatever the on which IP it is running Whatever the port number it's running on 4444 WD hub URL we have to give in the remote web driver So we will be using initialize the driver uh, locally and then initialize the driver with the help of a remote web driver So I quickly write that okay, we will be using a remote web driver concept also RWD and where we have to pass the grid URL. So this when you run it with the RWD remote web driver. So we will maintain one property over here that okay two properties over here. What is your hub URL and what is the remote flag? If your remote flag is equal to true, then run my test cases on the dockerized grid. If remote flag equal to false, run my te test cases in my local. Okay, so we will be using the concept of remote web driver also to run the test cases over here. So this is my infrastructure part not the design part and then we will uh, push the entire code to my uh, git repository so we will be maintaining one a uh, git repo over here and then after that we will be maintaining one jenkins and we will configure one jenkins uh, a job over here so i quickly write this is my uh, jenkins job which is running and this is my uh, git repo i'll be maintaining let's see one master branch over here and whatever the code that we have we will be writing this entire design we will be pushed to this particular repo and the jenkins will read this particular master branch from this particular repository and will trigger the test cases either on the specific uh, browser chrome and firefox either in the single thread or multi-threading or uh, parallel execution or if we have this remote equal to true then we'll be using the concept of remote web driver and we are we will be running on selenium grid over here as well so this is the last final step we will be doing that so it's a completely end-to-end -end first design and then the infrastructure that is the right hand side that we are going to use that amazing framework guys a lot of learning a lot to know a lot to discuss and a lot to implement we will not copy paste anything we will just write each and every line of code almost 99 percent things i'll be writing in front of you guys yeah here and there some xml file or something like this we can use those templates and we can copy paste <clears throat> but uh, almost everything we will be uh, designing okay in upcoming uh, sessions and this is the latest framework with cucumber 6 
and i'm pretty much sure that okay you will be learning a lot of lot of new things over here complete end to end design framework we will be doing that so please uh, take a print out of this okay i'll be uploading somewhere i can try to uh, you or you can take a, a screenshot and take a print out please practice and this is what you have to explain at a time of interview if someone is talking about how you design the framework with the help of cucumber now a couple of question people were asking that okay can we use test ng and all those things it doesn't matter with test ng also you can do the parallel execution with j unit also you can do the parallel execution with the help of maven test ng is just like your okay, yeah the the runner will be with the help of test ng instead of j unit so there is no big difference so here it's not very big important role for j unit test ng because cucumber has to use feature file and step definition file either you're using j unit or test ng that actually doesn't matter i'll try but not in the in this particular uh, uh, series we will see at the end if we can create <clears throat> we can replace j unit okay with the uh, test ng or not okay so uh, this will be the design please practice let me know if you have any issues and if you really want to introduce some more thing please put a comment over there and then uh, if you have any suggestion please feel free to write it in the comment section and uh, in the next video we will create first folder structure we will try to create one or two feature files and all uh, components step by step we will be uh, doing that and one more thing guys we will be using a uh, really good concepts of coding structures and uh, coding guidelines a single responsibility pattern and we will be using page object model proper design patterns no hard coded generic approach and uh, different component integration concept along with the infrastructure and everything we will be using that okay guys so that's all for this particular video thank you so much thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel comment like and share press the bell notification to get the notification for the next video thank you so much